From Steve Slayton to Pat White to Pat McAfee, they love their Mountaineers in Morgantown and in a place known for yan dogs and pepperoni rolls, and probably some liquid refreshments. The Mountaineer faithful ready to go here in Morgantown. What a game and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. Top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it as we see the number seven team in the country, the Penn State. As disappointing as this is, everything's still in front of this team. I mean, think back to 1983 Miami. Got blown out in the opener but won the national championship. You're absolutely right, Reese. Lots to play for here. And there's no doubt when you watch this team, they've got the talent to get it done. they got to execute better. they got to iron out some of these mistakes we saw here on the field today. But I think if this is a team, if they stay healthy throughout the course of the year, David, they've got a lot to play for this season. Goodness gracious. I guess I'm the only one that caught the 1983 reference. I know you two guys were alive. I wasn't even alive yet. Good lord.
Morgantown, West Virginia, home to the Mountaineers in a fan base that has been, shall we say, preparing since early in the morning for the battle we have in store. We've got a sensational matchup for you. Fans have been filing in and getting ready for this game. As we'll see, the Astronauts taking on a team from the Big 12, the West Virginia Mountaineers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. A strong, methodical, workmanlike effort from this team. No frills, just get the job done and get the win. I love when you describe my teams like that. Just consistent, you know, methodical, strong. I don't have to do things special every single week. All I'm supposed to do is get the W, and that's what they did. And this is why practice is so important, guys. You can tell that this team was locked in way back earlier in the week. They watched the film. They got good looks in practice. They knew what to anticipate. They knew what looks they were going to see. And when those looks presented themselves, Welcome to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, home of the Panthers in a program built on the backs of legends like Tony Dorsett, Hugh Green, Mark May, and Mike Ditka. Give it the toughness that is epitomized by anyone who plays in the Steel City. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see a squad from the Big 12, the West Virginia Mountaineers.
No matter how much college football changes, realignment, all of that kind of stuff, rivalries are consistent, and winning rivalry games, well, that's just the best. Because they hate each other so much, so you take the field against your rival, and you're able to put forth a performance like that, that is worth its weight in gold, David. Unbelievable effort here by the winning team in Bragging Rights now. Bragging Rights for a while. It's, it's a fun thing to be able to accomplish. Now we also got to take in the next couple games because this is always this is a letdown that naturally happens after these big rivalry wins. We feel like our chest is poked out. We got to look on. Two spiders.
From Steve Slayton to Pat White to Pat McAfee, they love their Mountaineers in Morgantown and in a place known for yam dogs and pepperoni rolls, probably some liquid refreshments. The Mountaineer faithful ready to go here in Morgantown. What a game we have in store for you today. A Big 12 showdown. Well, look what we have here, guys. After all the early season doubts, these guys have put together a winning streak. They sure have. Man, they're just believing in themselves right now. This is a completely different-looking team than what we saw early in the year. They're playing with so much more confidence. And, David, when you start making plays, you start stringing Ws together, that's obviously what happens. Everybody gets energized. Everybody starts to contribute. Young guys start to grow up. Coaches start to believe in them. Everything starts to turn around and swing the other way. They got it all going in the right direction. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis.
Welcome to Boone Pickens Stadium, Stillwater, Oklahoma, home to the Cowboys of Oklahoma State. Pistol Pete, ready to start firing those pistols for the battle we have in store. Today, a couple of squads here to square off in a Big 12 showdown. As we'll see a team fresh and ready to go off a of bye week, the West Virginia Mountaineers. Taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Oklahoma State Cowboys. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one. You know, there's no real reason to panic, but if you think about it, when does panicking ever really help? But certainly, this was a bitterly disappointing outcome. And you can look at a lot of different statistics, and I know we tend to overcomplicate college football these days, but guys, at the end of the day, it comes down to two very simple things. You can't turn the ball over, and you can't have penalties. You do those things, David, and it'll beat you every time. That's the difference between winning and losing. It's the small things, but find those things that you need to improve on, keep working on them, keep developing. Those things you do well,
Morgantown, West Virginia, home to the Mountaineers in a fan base that has been, shall we say, preparing since early in the morning for the battle we have in store. This game could have a huge impact on the trajectory of both teams. Well, this was an offensive showcase out there today. We thought it would be a high-scoring game, and it certainly delivered. If you love offense, then you love this type of game. Both offenses going up and down the field, seemingly at will. Throwing the ball, running the ball. But, David, I feel like if you're a fan of defense, maybe this is wasn't your cup of tea. Ah, uh, more defense option. <laughs> you can't really get too much of that stuff. But, you know, listen, you got to get a few stops late in the game. you got to get one, actually, just kind of one stop with this many points that are being scored. you got to stop late. That's why you got the dub. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock. From Steve Slayton to Pat White to Pat McAfee, they love their Mountaineers in Morgantown.
You're going to hear guys after this game say, got to work harder, got to be more intense. You know, sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. And it seemed to me that's what happened out there today. Yeah, it just never really got into a rhythm. For decades, if things get a little tough around Tucson, only two words are necessary. Fair. After back-to-back -back losses, this team is really teetering on the edge of disaster. They got to try to hold on to the positives, as hard as that is to do right now, having lost a couple back-to-back, -back, because this team has good players, and they've got good skills.
Welcome to the Queen City of Cincinnati at one of the most historic venues in all of college football. Nippert Stadium, home to the Cincinnati Bearcats. What a showdown we have in store. A couple of Big 12 teams squaring off. And now this team has fallen into a three-game slide and a season of promise has now had a lot of promises broken. Yeah, this is a team that really needs to take a long, hard look in the mirror right now and make a decision. What are we going to be? What am I about? What am I willing to do at this point of the season to get this thing turned around? A lot of tough and real conversations are going to have to take place. And this is when the coaches really make their money, right? How can I get my kids to focus when I know there's probably not a lot to play for down the road? Um, so let's let's.
Morgantown, West Virginia, home to the Mountaineers in a fan base that has been, shall we say, preparing since early in the morning for the battle we have in store. talk about building confidence coming through with clutch plays making the winning plays at the right time can really set the course for the rest of the season yeah reese maturity and experience matters and this team has guys that have played a lot of snaps they've seen a lot of looks and they've lost close games like this in the past that wasn't the case today david too many guys out there making big time plays and I think belief is what you build. That confidence, you know you're going to win. You don't think you're going to win. You know you're going to make that play in the big moment that continues to build on week-to-week -week success. And you look up and you're like, dang, we strung a couple wins together.
From Steve Slayton to Pat White to Pat McAfee, they love their Mountaineers in Morgantown and in a place. The drama built throughout this game, memorable plays, and then finally the gut-wrenching loss at the end in overtime. This coaching staff is going to look back at the overtime, and they're going to wish they had called some different plays. They had some things set up, but ultimately, with games like this, they come down to the wire. you got to be able to dial up plays to win. I don't think this coaching staff did a great job. And it's so frustrating to get to this point and make enough plays to be in the game to come up short in overtime. I'd almost rather get blown out or this game to decide in regulation. Just very frustrating.
Welcome everyone to Lubbock, Texas, Jones AT&T Stadium, where their tortillas will be flying in celebration and in support of their beloved Texas Tech Red Raiders. And while today is the final home game of the season for one... My pulse rate is still through the roof on this game. I would have called that one for free. Wait, I don't want to get carried away there. But it was a really fun game and a great win. <laughs> it really was. I know we're all up here. We're bouncing around. We're excited after having seen what we just saw. What a great win for this team to go out and do it in overtime. That's the type of game that fans are going to be talking about for a long time. Great. Yeah, right. If you know Reese Davis, that is not happening. But we got a free game that was awesome. Back and forth, nip and tuck. And bonus time. You got some free overtime play in that one. That's going to do it.
Glad to have you with us from Orlando, Florida, one of the great vacation destinations in the entire land. Today, Camping World Stadium as a couple of teams square off for a chance to win the Pop-Tart Bowl. Bowl games are not only a reward for how you played in the regular season, What a thriller, what a confidence builder to be able to come up with a win like that in overtime. This team has to love their ability to come up with big plays and big moments. How about in overtime, the individual efforts we saw, this team playing as a unit, doing enough and doing everything that was needed to get the W. It is such an exciting game, up and down, back and forth. It's, it's heartbreaking if you lose, but when you come through with these games late in the ball game, it gives you confidence throughout the season to continue to build on it. What a great...
Hello and welcome to Athens, Georgia, the classic city and a classic day for college football. The atmosphere absolutely exhilarating as a Georgia Bulldog set to tee it up at Sanford Stadium to start this season. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here, and you know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we see a squad from the Big 12, the West Virginia Mountaineers, taking on the 11th ranked team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. They'll run it out of the shotgun. These two conferences have been tied together for years through the Sugar Bowl, a little testiness with the whole Texas-Oklahoma thing, and now the rivalry on the field between the Big 12 and the SEC. Yeah, and conference realignments played a big factor, too, between these two conferences. Think back to when Texas A&M and Missouri joined the SEC. So this is always a fun one to watch, David. Wide open offense from the Big 12, and then you get the physicality and the speed from the SEC. I think you nailed it right there. Two totally different worlds. They live in different worlds all the time. One is, is pitchy pitchy. Woo -woo, throw it around all over the yard. The other one, physicality. Which style can present itself? Looking for room. It's Donaldson. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So, guys, over the last few years, there have been seismic changes to college football. Realignment, name image alignness. But one of the biggest changes, the transfer portal. Yeah, and now guys that are unhappy or in a situation where they see something that they'd rather be in, now you can leave, and there is no penalty. So, a lot of recruiting, Jesse, on other people's teams that go on throughout a season. Yeah, it's complete. A huge pickup. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work as well. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and 10. Throws for the tight end. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Fires into traffic, picked off. He was thinking big return, didn't get that, but boy, did he give his offense an opportunity at the 31. A lot of quarterbacks have so much confidence. Off the play fake on first down. He'll pull it down. Across the 25, he's got room. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot it at the 37. This guy just gives you nightmares. I mean, he's just got so much electricity. He just pulls it down and chews up yards like it's nothing. That's a quarterback. A quarterback doing that to your defense. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Second. First down, now a lot of options on second and four. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays, but sometimes... You're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. Now it's just going to... They'll run it from the gun. At the 35, he's got room. They've got him down at the 40 after he ripped off 15 yards. 
Starting this drive like that is exactly what they had hoped for. Now first and 10 from the 40. Fights off a defender. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. Dropping back, it's Hunter on the move to his left. The quarterback bought as much time as he could, but the defense got to him and sacked him. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Oh, he dropped it. He had the pick in his hands and a chance for one of his patented big plays, and he couldn't hang on. It'll be fourth down. Quarterback on the keeper. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. He's looking to throw. Trying to escape and get it himself. Bounced off his feet. Man, that's so frustrating. It happens so fast. He just pulls it down. It looks like pass. He pulls it down. He's gone. Just like that, chewing up yards. So much speed. So hard to stop. Nice job to get it past the sticks, and they get him down at the 35. The Mountaineers have it with a first and 10. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. When they've got him looking run, now to pass. The quarterback scrambled around, but the defense able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Right down the middle. And this sophomore's going to learn. You can't force that type of pass. Very lucky to get it back. Third long, and there's a lot to go through for a quarter. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. They've already racked up big sack numbers. It's starting to snowball, and they are ready to go again. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Wow, this offense is just stuck in the mud. They've already punted four times, and it's third down now. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. Well, that's kind of the advantage of third and medium, right? Is the defense, you keep them guessing. You can throw it, you can run it. That time they hand it off and they pick it up. Yeah, and you can see the D drop back a little bit. It creates a little bit of space. The running back blasts through, gets the first down. Then the short completion brings up second down. Looking to throw, it's Hunter. Got his man quickly. Still on his feet at the 45. Just making a huge play, and he sets him up all the way down at the 14. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and 10. From the gun, running back gets the give. Well, they're going RPO. Nice job handing it off and really good vision there, just getting what he can get. Right, Puts his foot in the ground, gets forward, helps this offense find positive hands. On second down, he'll let it fly. Fired that thing out in a heartbeat, but it's incomplete. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Caught in the backfield, it's White. He ended up going backwards on the play, and they will not convert that third down. You got First play from scrimmage here in the second half, and they'll keep it on the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. 
The give to the lone running back. Picks his way and gets four out to the 27. A third down conversion is always a huge stat, and they've got a third and long from the 27. From the gun, wants to pass. And they can't make the connection on third down. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, you thought they would have made some adjustments. Now they'll run the draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Dropping back, it's Hunter. Quarterback adapted. And the pass rush he is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. It's a pick. He threw it right into the double coverage. Going the other way, and he's got room. Touchdown, dogs! And then... It's a draw. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. You know, you got to be careful when you're running the draw play because you're hoping those defensive ends get way up the field, thinking it's passed. Didn't happen that time. And that is interception number three on the day. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. Let's go. Two interceptions already for this linebacker. Unbelievable. Gonna run it, it's Donaldson. Maybe picked up a couple, he's down at the 24. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you gotta stop the run first. That pass is incomplete and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And the quarterback is snowed under. And it's been a long day. I mean, I, there's not much to point out to this offense. Ready up. Easy. He's looking to throw it. He's going to take off. He was able to squirt free and pick up a few and avoid a negative play there. Second down coming up. To the air, it's Hunter. Takes the easy throw in the flat. They make the stop, not a whole lot of ground picked up there, and they'll have work to do to get the first down. A third down try for the offense. From the gun, wants to pass. Got it in the middle, it's Fox. Good, solid pick up there. Now they can start to smell it with a first down at the 31. And the Mountaineers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. And it's picked off for the fourth time today. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. Well, the defense came into this one knowing they needed to create takeaways to try to gain. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Catch in the middle. It's Bray. And he was loose and out the gate and doesn't go down until he gets to the 48-yard line. Yeah, and you see some quarterbacks who hesitate to throw the ball in the middle. I love it when you attack the whole field. And the middle of the field and being able to throw over linebackers and between safeties is a big skill. But you show that defense, you're a, you will attack everything. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. They go to the draw. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still, just a very short game. Now facing a third and long. He'll set up to throw. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. This has been a fuck.
He's gonna pass. And the play there forces the incompletion on first down. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. The give to the tailback. And they get him on the ground, and that'll probably do it for the third quarter. Well, guys, it's Georgia holding the lead at the end of the quarter. And they've built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we've gotten here. I guess if you're not... Bitterly disappointing start to the season as they can't come up with a W and open 0-1. And there's still so much room to improve for this football team. I know this is not the performance they were expecting here today, but there were plays to be made. Welcome to Peden Stadium, Athens, Ohio. On the double. Leaves it with the back. And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. Second down. They'll try the run. The Mountaineers have a first down. And this is a guy that can find you the hidden yardage. That play, he just pushes the pile to get that first down. They're going to ride this running back. At the 45 on his way. Can anyone catch him? Inside the 10. Touchdown, Mountaineers. And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. Man, I am a great play caller when I can hand it to guys like that. And he can go that far to the house. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Finds that crease, and he's got four out to the 29. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Still on his feet at the 45. 
And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. They try to pop a run on the draw. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. And for 41 yard line. Second down. On the run, it's Donaldson. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. They're going to keep feeding this guy the football, guys. Over 100 yards rushing with that last carry now. We knew coming into this game today, they had to get the running game going. They had to be able to turn around, hand it off, and get positive yards and set themselves up into manageable third down situations. And we've seen them at any area of the field so far in this one have success in the running game. Don't Under pressure, and down he goes at the 33. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. And the pressure gets to him again. Another sack. It is hard to get sacks on screens. I mean... Gives it to the back on the draw. And they'll make the stop, and we are headed to the end of the first period. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. And they've swapped ends of the field, and we'll get it going in the second. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. They go to the ground. Tackled after picking up the first down. Well, it's a nice run there to keep the drive going, get the first down. I'll tell you guys, I'm impressed so far by this offense and their ability to run it early. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. The running back has it. Bulls his way forward. And he uses the stiff arm to push his way past the sticks and pick up the first down. And the Mountaineers are on the move. From the gun, the running back has it. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Looking for a man, it's Hunter. Makes a catch and knock down. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Lining up to convert third down. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Lost to throw on first down. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Let's see what they've got on second down. Hand off from the shotgun. Hold down after a pickup of five. A statement run in the red zone to the 13. They love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. That's caught. It's white. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goalpost trying to defend their own end zone. They'll try to run it in. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. Second and goal coming up. Tries again to get it in. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, West Virginia! It's a draw. Just ran over it. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. The offense set for a first down play. 
the give from the gun. At the 45 on his way. Got a lot of running room. And he just kept running and he ran away from the crowd and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Mountaineers. Takes a handoff. It's White. On the move at the 30. Hit the gas, kid. Wide open ahead. He's at the 10. And the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown, Mountaineers. Man, this guy is such a weapon because he's so dangerous if he gets into the... From the gun, they'll try the middle. As college football evolves, guys, and players have more rides, and they capitalize on name, image, and likeness, and teams are in different conferences, maybe the biggest thing and the thing that keeps coaches up at night, dealing with the transfer. And he's running in the open. And he was on his way, and they get him down at the 30. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. They make the stop inside the 25, working closer to that red zone, a gain of six. Line of scrimmage will be the 24. Six-yard pickup on first down, leaves him with second and four. Still looking. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Well, obviously, at this point in the first half, the defense is finding themselves in a hole. You just get the feeling if they're going to get back in this, they're going to need more plays like that. They're going to need sacks. They're going to need turnovers. They're going to have to create negative plays to get themselves some momentum. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eight. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. And you'd like to think this sophomore wouldn't make a habit of trying to force passes into double coverage like that. They've gotten pushed back, but it's still third and goal. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. Big decision now for you on offense. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Oh, he had him right down the middle, and it just squirted right through his fingers, and they miss an opportunity for a nice play on first down. Back to pass. It's Hunter. Got his man on the right. Just what they were looking for to get this drive rolling. They're out to the 35. After moving the sticks with the pass, here we are on first down. He wants to throw. Looking to the big tight end. And this sophomore's going to learn. You can't force that type of pass. Very lucky to get it back. After the incompletion, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Incomplete. Man, is he lucky to get that one back. Defense that close to an interception. A third and long coming up here. Off the play fake. He's looking deep. Got it in stride inside the 20. Almost took it all the way there, but it's a huge gain, and they're set up with a first and goal. Thank you very much. That's what the quarterback's thinking on that last play. I think he was even shocked that his receiver was that wide open downfield. He'll take it. This offense has been running wild in the first half, but wait, they want more before they go to the locker room. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, West Virginia. If these guys wanted to make a statement, the statement has been delivered. It's your job to stop them. Oh, don't run the score up. Well...
They'll keep it on the ground to start the second half. Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. On the run, it's White. Oh, it's out! Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. Offensive players, when they got the ball, man, they're trying to make plays, right? Looking for a man, it's Hunter. Still on his feet at the 45. Off he goes. Touchdown, Mountaineers. And the beatdown has ensued. An unbelievable timing with the quarterback and wide receiver. Get it to him in his hands, right on his frame, where he can run after the catch and do some serious damage. And that's why he's so dangerous, because of that ability after the catch. For these DBs in this game, you've got to tackle the reception, because if you don't get him down, he's taking it to the house. From the gun, running back on the move. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. Got three on first down at second and seven. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Out across the 30 to the 39 after getting 10 on that one. From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. From the shotgun, the inside give. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. The Mountaineers have this offense rolling. Lasso. To the air on first down. Throws to the tight end. Wide open downfield. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the eight. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, and now the defense is really on its heels. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Second and goal for the offense. The run up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. Touchdown, Mountaineers! And the pummeling has started. And this offense looking more and more like themselves. This is what we're accustomed to seeing. Last week, more of a blip, right? 0-1 to start the season. Kind of had some bad vibes, some bad mojo. Bounce right back, putting up a ton of points. And this one is all but over. 1-1 one one is here for this team. He'll try to pop the draw. And he's brought down after a nice game. I think Jesse and Reese could call offensive plays for any team if they're having this much success on the ground. It starts with the ground game, right? Like, you can chew up these kind of plays. Then I can play action later on and take shots. But right now, defense has first got to stop the run game that's been chewing them up. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. You know, you start day one of training camp running your base runs. You need a few yards, you run these plays. You need a first down, you run these plays. You rep them over and over and over again. Not sexy, not pretty, but in the end, they're effective, and they get you that new set of downs when you need them. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. Now they'll run it to the right here. And the Mountaineers pick up the first down. 
I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Looking to pass inside the red zone. And the pass falls incomplete. That's how we'll wrap up the third quarter of play. But now, time for the fourth quarter. If you like old school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who start through the first three periods. So will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. They're about to snap it for the seventh time on this drive. Made a little something out of that run. He picked up a couple down to the 14. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Keep it on the ground. Nifty little dance step. He's all the way down to the three. An electric run has him set up. The Mountaineers trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. Trying to power it in. Touchdown, West Virginia. And the stomping has commenced. Points, points, and more points. This offense has... Give to the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Leaves it with the running back. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chains. And obviously, this offense has had their way, getting the huge lead. And now, when you know it's a running situation later in the ball games, you're still getting pounded. This defense has to step up at some point and be a lot more physical. D coordinators down the road that have to play this offense, man, they're going to have nightmares because this unit has so much speed and so much skill. That running back, receiver, tight end, the quarterback making good decisions. It is so tough trying to stop them and prevent explosive plays. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. Open space at the 25. Touchdown, Mountaineers! And the punishment has been extended. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your... Easy. To the ground with the back. Knocked down at the 35 after a pickup of three. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Leaves it with the back. Squeezes out a couple of yards down to the 32. Now on third down after that run. Back to throw, it's Hunter. Fires to the middle. He's got it. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. And the Mountaineers with the first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Going for six. It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Here we go. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. Pulled down after a pickup of five. They'll mark it at the eight. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can't pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Well, on third and short and field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get... Here's the handoff. He breaks a tackle. Works ahead for a couple. They'll stop him at the 27. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They'll go to the counter play. No, he just flat ran over it. Just slithered through the tackle, and he's got room to run. 
He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Power football with the run. At the 40, there he goes. Offense on the move. A big play there, gets it to the 30. Big reason why his team has the lead right now late is because of his performance running the football. Well over 100 yards in this game. They knew that they were going to have to really put a lot of pressure on him. He'd have to shoulder the load. And he has delivered for his offense all game long. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Been showing them the run. Now they'll throw it. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. Defense getting stingier in their own end of the field. It's third and long from the 28. They'll give it to the back. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. The Mountaineers look to do some damage in the red zone. They'll ride the hot hand. Pulled down after a pickup of three balls at the 13. Operating in the red zone here on second down. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Lowers those pads. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. And the Mountaineers have it in scoring position on first and goal. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. Touchdown, Mountaineers! And the route is on. This game must be moving so slowly for this quarterback. He sees everything two or three beats ahead. Way ahead. They'll run it, trying to drain time off the clock. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. And with that pass right there, over 300 yards. That's a good day at the office, being able to execute, doing a good job seeing what's coming, anticipating, taking some shots today, but this hold really strong, put up some good numbers. Solid pickup of four on first down, it's second and six. The give to the back. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wide receiver coming across in motion. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. Ripping off a good chunk inside the 25, and they're set up with a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Quick touch pass to the receiver. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Kept it on the ground last time. Let's see if they go back to it on second down. Takes the handoff. It's Donaldson. Headed to the end zone. Touchdown, West Virginia. And the beatdown has ensued. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Still running at the 40. He's loose. The 20. The 10. Takes it into the end zone for the touchdown on the final play. The Denouement. The epilogue. The finishing touch. And some people might say they should have taken a knee, run the clock out. This offense believes, I'm going to run the football. It's your job to stop it. And they add a rushing touchdown and another six to the scoreboard. This is what you're looking for when you have the better team. Go out and show it. Don't fool around with them. Go out and play to a standard of excellence. Just dominate. You know you're going to take care of business. You know you're going to win. It's, almost, it's like how many? How many can I win by? And I like that you keep your foot on the gas and just continue to pile it on. It's their job to stop you. Let them do their job. You just keep going on. It's not about the X's and the O's. It's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. This is why recruiting is so important in college football. They just add better players. More physical. They were faster, and it showed today. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.